Welcome back to The Sports Geek. I'm your host, Jackie Ray. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Now, be the best, you have to learn from the best. That's why in this video, we're going to be breaking down the habits of professional sports better, Billy Walters. For those of you who don't know, Billy Walters is considered one of the best sports betters of all time. He's known for having a winning streak lasting over 30 years and bringing over $50 million a month on sports betting. But how did he get to this point? What daily habits built this sports legend? Here are a few betting tips from the legend himself. Now keep in mind, Billy Walters started betting when he was just nine years old. But as successful as Walters is at sports betting today, he was once really, really terrible at it. In fact, he racked up over $50,000 in losses at one point. Which takes us to Walters' first tip. Do not expect instant results. Walters said, quote, I know what every sucker thinks because I used to be one. I can assure you that every successful gambler I know has been through some monumental failures on his way to getting there. He says every gambler makes a compulsive bet. Sometimes those pay off and sometimes they can teach you a hard and costly lesson. The key is to not beat yourself up about making that compulsive bet. But this does lead us to Walter's second tip. Information gives you an edge. Instead of being compulsive, Billy Walters would tell you to be informed. He has surrounded himself with a lot of sharp minds who can break down and analyze data. This includes statisticians, mathematicians, and computer programmers. But back in the day, he would even coordinate with the Las Vegas cleaning staff to gather used newspaper from all incoming flights. A team of readers would then analyze all of this information and come up with the lines that most of the general public were not aware of. Obviously, that is a full-time job, and since most of us have a regular nine to five, this is not an option. But that is why you have us. If you need insight or direction, head on over to thesportsgeek.com. Now let's get to Billy Walter's third tip, and that is value is everything. This tip goes to those of us who are diehard fans of specific teams. Don't let your fandom steal your competitive edge. Walter says bet the odds, not the teams. Not some of the time, but all of the time. If you need more insight into betting the odds, make sure you check out our betting the odds video, which makes his fourth point make perfect sense. The bigger the value, the bigger the bet. Billy Walters and his team actually collected an enormous amount of data and they created their own lines. They only bet when their lines are different than what is in the market. This strategy is in line with a money management approach known as the Kelly Criterion, which we'll get into in another video. Right now, it's important to remember that success isn't about making one big bet. Walters never lets it ride on one game. Instead, he spreads out his bankroll across many games where he has a positive expectation. Walter's next tip, don't take huge margins. To be profitable at the standard odds of negative 110, you need to be hitting at 52.4% winning percentage. For all of his work and success, Billy Walters was winning at a rate of 57%, but that's enough of a margin to generate a big edge in the sports book. The sheer volume of his bets and the ability to optimize his bankroll management has enabled him to amass hundreds of millions in profits. Now don't forget a margin, or as I like to call it, the juice, is what the sports book will charge so they can make their profit. You don't always pay the juice for every wager. Instead, the juice comes from losing a wager. Professional sports bettors only win between 53 and 55% of their bets at a negative 110 odds. These figures also show that even the best sports gambler loses a fair amount of wagers and must pay the juice. But don't let those numbers scare you. Remember. Billy Walters made millions and was just winning 57% of the time. The best tip that Billy Walters could offer is don't be in denial. He said, quote, a lot of people have a difficult time stepping back and doing a reevaluation and deciding I was wrong. A lot of people want to continue on in denial until they're completely broke. There are a few signs that it's time for you to take a betting break. First, if you spend all day thinking about your next game. If you are constantly thinking about the next bet or the next seven bet, you are being a little obsessive and you should take a time out. If you get a call or your significant other walks in while you're researching your next bet and you spaz out for the sake of your relationship and your sanity, please take a few weeks off. If you're using your bill money to make bets or hiding your betting habits from people, it's definitely time to consider taking a very long break because being obsessed with the next win can spill over into your regular life. 
like spending your rent money on betting or making betting moves in the business world with information that has not been presented to the public yet. That would be considered insider trading. Yes, Billy Walters amassed an incredible profit, but he was also convicted of insider trading in 2017 and received a five-year prison sentence and had to pay $10 million in fines. He was supposed to serve out the remainder of his sentence in home confinement in his Carlsbad, California home but he was pardoned by the last administration. Today, he supplements his gambling winnings with business profits. Walters owns a golf course in Las Vegas, several car dealerships, and commercial real estate. But imagine being able to do that without jail time. What if he had taken a break before taking that big business risk? I would imagine that is what he would encourage new bettors to be aware of, the signs that you need to take a break. All great advice from the great Billy Walters. We are going to keep giving you betting tips from some of the best in sports betting. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and you don't miss a video. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray. Thanks for watching The Sports Geek and we'll see you next time.